pulling a card randomly. I got the devil. Okay, so very interesting. I started last week with death and the second card is the devil. And I think that these cards have tremendous power. People are really afraid of them. And so I think they're here actually for me to really uh, give some guidance around these difficult tarot cards. Probably people that don't know tarot, these are the cards that really keep them away. So I'm going to give some information about the devil. So I have here a devil. It's kind of a typical card representing him. He's sitting on a square, uh, actually a rectangle, that represents matter. And there he's holding down two figures. They're sort of androgynous, uh, especially the one. It could be two women. It could be a woman and a man. Um, they're sitting they sitting in this very shameful position, covering their faces, um, kind of really tightly withheld. Um, but you see below them there are shadows, and those shadows actually look a lot like the Buddha. And the devil has his hands on their heads and kind of holding them down. And the meaning of this, this card is really about what holds us down, what shadow qualities are we really unable to release ourselves from? Um, however, the shadow, like the Buddha we see in the, in the card, is a wise teacher. So if we sit with these shadows, these difficult parts of ourselves, these things that make us feel ashamed, often sexuality, the devil really represents sexuality, as you can see, <laughs> and, um, you know, things like... Uh, our bodies. We, a lot of people are very ashamed of their bodies or feelings, you know, having feelings of, of anger, feelings of jealousy, rage. You know, we stuff all those things into our shadow because we, we think they make us less imperfect. But really what they do is make us human. So, you know, if we sit with these shadows and we look at them, we say, oh, rage, what is that rage about? Um, you know, and then maybe even see it as a teacher, so maybe helping us to set up boundaries. Um, then we are really able to learn from these difficult aspects of our, ourselves as humans. And then, you know, once we've sat with them a while, if we just decide and see that they're not beneficial, all we need to do is take the hands off our face, unfurl our bodies and stand up. You know, there's, there's, the devil may be pushing us down a little bit in this card, but he's not really, and he's unable to stop us from rising if we want. So see, this card is a great teacher, a teacher telling us to look deeply within ourselves at what, what brings us guilt, what brings us shame, perhaps the qualities we're not really proud of, and to look at them and to learn from them and then to stand up and rise towards the light.